Generally in interview to test our knowledge, a question is asked that this ampere here, how to convert ampere into watt? Friends, this question may look like simple to you, but actually it is not simple. Because to solve this question, you have to use three different formulas. And every formula will be used for different condition. Like to convert ampere into watt for DC power supply, then for this you have to use different formula. And if you want to convert for AC power supply, then in this condition, we have to use different formula. And in case of three phase power supply, if you want to convert current into watt, then for this also, you have to use different formula. So to convert ampere into watt, which formula need to be used in which condition? Let's understand. Look here, I have a question. In this question, it is told you have a lamp. Like here, you can see I have a lamp. To operate this lamp, 24 volt DC power supply is connected. After connecting 24 volt DC power supply, current flowing from this lamp is of 2 ampere. Now this 2 ampere here, we have to convert this into watt. So if you want to convert ampere into watt, then for this you have to use this formula. Watt equals to ampere into voltage. It means just multiply current and voltage and you will get the answer. I am putting the values in this formula given in question. Watt is equal to 2 into 24 volt DC power supply. When we multiply this, answer will come as 48 watt. It means in 24 volt DC power supply, 2 ampere current is there. Then in this condition, power rating will be 48 watt. Friends, you can notice one thing here. If you want to convert ampere into watt, then in this condition, you must also know voltage. Without knowing voltage, you cannot directly convert ampere into watt. So as you saw this formula here, we use this formula for DC power supply. It means if question is asked for DC power supply, then in this condition, by using this formula, you can find the answer. Now let's talk about single phase power supply. Single phase power supply we connect. In this power supply, current which is there, how to convert this current into watt? Let's understand this also through a question. Question is given here that we have a lamp which operates on 220 volt AC power supply. Current rating of this lamp is 0.5 ampere and power factor is 0.8. Now we have to convert this current into watt or you can say we have to find power rating of this lamp. To find out power rating of this lamp, you have to use this formula. Formula which you will use for single phase power supply in this current, voltage and power factor also you should know. We have to convert current into watt directly but along with this we must know voltage and we must know power factor also. So in this formula let's put all these values. Watt equal to ampere is 0.5 you can see. Voltage is 220 and here it is written power factor 0.8. So all the values are here. When we multiply all the values answer will come as 88 watt. So if you want to find power rating in single phase power supply, then in this condition, you have to use this formula. Friends, if you go for an interview and to confuse you, a question may be asked to you. Question is 10 ampere current is there. Convert this into what? When this question is asked to you, then you have to raise another question. You have to ask current rating which you are giving. This current rating is of which kind of power supply? AC power supply or DC power supply or three phase power supply. Besides, you have to ask one more thing to interviewer. This current flowing through a device, what is the operating voltage of that device? So there you have to ask these two questions against that question. If they tell you these details, then use the appropriate formula and give them answer. Now let's talk for three phase power supply. Suppose I have a motor right now. I connected three phase power supply with this motor. After connecting power supply, power factor now is 0.8. Current is 3 ampere and operating voltage is 415 volt. This 415 volt operating voltage is line to line voltage. It means if you measure phase to phase voltage, then 415 volt is the voltage. Now we have to convert this current rating into watt or simply you can say that we have to find power rating of this motor. Then for this, we have to use this formula. Power rating equals to root 3 multiplied by power factor multiplied by current into voltage. Voltage must be line to line. So in this formula, 
I am putting all these values. After putting the values, equation will come like this. After solving this, answer will come as 1725 watt. It means to this motor, if we provide 415 volt and if power factor of this motor is 0 0.8 and from this 3 ampere current is flowing, then in this condition, power rating of this motor will be 1725 watt. If you convert this watt into kilowatt, then simply divide by 1000, answer will be there. So through 3 phase power supply, how you will convert ampere into watt, I told you about this formula. Friends, one thing you can see here, voltage I written here is phase to phase. If you have such option where it is told that operating voltage is phase to neutral, like here you can see it is written line to neutral voltage 230 volt. In previous question, line to line voltage was given. But in this question, phase to neutral voltage is given. So if you have three phase operating power supply, but voltage you know is line to neutral, then in this condition, formula which you are going to use, that formula will be little different. Formula will become watt equal to 3 into power factor multiplied by current multiplied by voltage. Voltage will be line to neutral. If you know phase to phase voltage, then in this condition, you have to use root 3. If you know phase to neutral voltage for 3 phase power supply, then in this condition, you have to use 3 here. So in this formula, I am putting all the values. After putting values, if I multiply this, then answer here is 2208 watt. Now if I want to convert this watt into kilowatt, then simply divide this by 1000. Answer will come in kilowatt. That's it friends. Friends, I hope after watching this video, nobody can confuse you regarding these types of questions. So when in interview, you are asked to convert ampere into watt, then simply formula which I told you by using this formula, you can easily tell the answer. And if you give this answer properly, then I guarantee you, your selection will be for sure. So friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.